Ah, uh, who be that now? You won't break my door. Ah. Uh Ati, -uh. welcome. Are you okay? Which are you supposed to do first? My friend, open the gate. Ati. Okay, so now I know I let you enter. No, 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 no. Are, are you standing on my bed? My friend, get out! I can't get to this. Now, I can't talk Agu. Agu, if I slap you, you will sit on that. Get out of my way, you're talking rubbish. What was the meaning of this nonsense? Eh? I beg you, you go call her. This guy is serious, so. Hold on. Hello, Mom. No, I'm at the gate. I'm back, but I don't know what is happening here. Ago has refused to open the door for me. He said that gave him instruction not to open the gate for me. Yes. Okay, I'm waiting. My daughter out. Are you okay? Uh, Will you shut up? Don't you ever try that again. Fool. If you try it again, I'll sack you. Nonsense. Let's go. To where? To where? Where is the money you took from my account? Dad, I have told you. I have said it before. I don't know anything about your money. I did not take it. You did not take my money? And your picture is taken by the ATM machine and you are here denying. You're screaming. Just let me scream. Please, no. the neighbors are... Where is my car? Daddy, please, just, just go and get a new car and change your pin because I'm not with it. And as for the bank, we'll go there. Let's find out how they have my picture. Because Let's I don't talk. know what you're talking about. Can Daddy, we go inside and trash this thing out? We're disturbing the neighbors. Go in where? My house? No, go where? Now let me warn you, I don't want to ever see you close to my brother's children again. Huh? Yes, I was only informed that you were dead today. I will not spy you next time. It's not understood. No, that is not clear. Shh, shh. Mommy, leave me alone. Shh. It is not clear. How can you stop me from, from seeing my cousins? How can you stop me from communicating with my cousins? That if you like threatening me from now till to tomorrow, it will not stop anything. It's okay. See, Dad, I appreciate the fact that you've trained me. You gave birth to me. You trained me in school. You made, you've made you taken care of me all my life. But this time around, you cannot control my life and who I communicate with. You can seize, seize, seize Mommy's card that I use or freeze my account. But that will not stop anything. Mom, I'm inside. Because... Are you aware that you are still living under my roof? Did you see her? Man, you better talk to her. I will remove her teeth. Can we just go out inside and trash this out? You're disturbing everybody. Excuse me. I know what to do. And you, idiot. What did I tell you? Huh? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Huh? What did I tell you? Go, 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 Hello, babes. Hello, baby. You're home? Yes, I am. Uh -huh. Did your boy later get the food for my sister? Of course. 
Ah, babes, thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. I really appreciate. Baby, thank you for what? It's my responsibility to keep an eye on your sister, to take care of her. Huh? So, um, am I seeing you very early tomorrow? I hope you've discussed it with your mother. Yes, I did, and she understands. You know my mom doesn't have any problem. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Sweet dreams. Dream of me. Hmm? I love you. I'm sorry that I could not give you that money the last time. I had a lot on my head. But please, um, manage this 1,000 naira. I will do more when I have, please. Please. Ike now. So because you had a lot on your head, that is why you could not give your girlfriend ordinary 3,000 naira. Oh, Chomai, no. But remember, I told you that I'm broke. But well, soon, things will be fine, okay? Chomai, you have suffered. So you cannot call me out here to give me just 1,000 naira and to preach to me that things will be fine. Oh, Choma, stop this and understand me. What is all this? You're oh, shouting. Oh. You are shouting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. Fine. I've had you. I was busy inside before you called me. You see this money, it cannot buy me a good bra. Not to talk of taking good care of myself. Relationship works with money. When there is no money, there is no relationship. Choma. Choma, why are you angry? <laughs> Remember, when things was fine, I used to do the ones I can't do. Ah, 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 ah. This is not what I want to hear. I don't want you to be bugging in past glory. You don't even try it with me. When things are fine, what, what, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to suffer and die because Ikenna doesn't have money anymore? Please, like I said, I was doing something inside before you disturbed me. Choma. Choma. I think we should visit Nelson in the city since he said that he is not coming back anytime soon. That's a good point. I think we should exercise caution. All we know is Nelson is not treating his brother well, but his reasons we don't know. Uh, we are saying the same thing. He needs to tell us why. Even if he cannot do that, he needs to recite his decision of ejecting his brother and his family. He built the house with his money, but he must note that the house sits on Ndoka's portion of family land as a first son. But he demolished the old family house after he built the new one. Why does he want Ntuka and his family to live if he evicts them? We should prevail on him to rescind that decision. Listen, we have kept quiet for so long on this matter. Let us call him to come and tell us his reason. We will call him and tell him we want to visit him in the city. Ask him why, since he has not been honoring our invitation, but finds time to 
come here and harass his brother? Eh? Or do we pay him on scheduled visit? No, 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 no. I disagree with that. We have to seek his consent. In fact, let me give him, let me call him. Yes. Call him. Yeah, call him. I think it's better I call him. That's right. It's ringing. It's ringing. It's ringing. He's not picking. He's not picking. He's not picking. Then continue to try his number. Whenever you get him or you reach him, get back to us. Oh, it, it, that, that's okay. Uh, we have to do something because he has given them one week ultimately. The last time he came. Though that one has elapsed. I will continue to call from now till tomorrow. If he fails to pick the call, I will personally pay him on scheduled visits. I think that is a good idea. I don't think that is a good idea. At least we ask him why he has been ignoring our invitations. Mm. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> I will see to that. Hmm? Yeah. And I will continue calling till he picks this call. If not, Tomorrow, I will personally go there and pay him that very visit. Can my friend name? Yes. I will be nice with you. Which you know what? We have to celebrate for a successful surgery and thank God for His message. Of course, we really have to celebrate. Melissa will be so happy. Yeah. <laughs> but. I wonder why she hasn't called me. Maybe she's not that way. You know, the doctor called me herself and uh, told me that everything is, is fine. Poor, beautiful young woman. Oh, yes, I, I thought it was just old people who suffer from cataracts and glaucoma, but now the younger generations are the ones suffering more of it. The question is, do young people watch what they eat? You see, they eat all kinds of junk. Why wouldn't they suffer it? Young men and women suffer stroke, blood pressure, and diabetes. To be honest with you, we really, really have to watch what we eat. You know what? Go get a drink. Let's celebrate for a successful operation of your in-law. Mm -hmm. Steve, I never marry a woman. <laughs> <laughs> So just wait until then uh, before you start calling me that name. Well enough, uh. <laughs> you surely marry her. <laughs> uh, man, my G. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning, my son. I'm here to see Chief Nelson. Ah. Okay. Now you be now. Ah. I am Mazi Okafo. Major. Mm -mm. I say I'm the major. I am Mazi. I say Mazi. I'm Mazi, Mazi Okafo. Okay. His brother. I came from the village. Okay. Onoku okay. ya. Uh, uh, okay. You go wait for there first. Eh? Make, make I go tell him say you the final. You want me to sit on the ground and wait? No, just wait first now. Uh -huh. ah. Wait first. Let's see how she did. Wait. I, I go go tell him. Oh, okay, Say go. More see, sir. Hey. Yes. Oh, oh, God, 
Agu, what is it? Okay. One man day for gate. He say he won't come see you. Uh, what is his name? Uh, no. he, he say na your village people will be. He, he say name na major. Sorry, uh, Mazi Okafo. Oh, Mazi Okafo. Yes. Let him come. Mazio Kafo. I only allowed you to cross my gate because you are one elder that I respect so much among our kindred. I don't allow people to come to my house without my consent. Is that understood? I understand. And I'm sorry about that. But uh, you have not been taken. My course, our course, even other people they've been calling, you've never taken it. What is your business if I don't take my course? Was it what gave you the miserable guts to invade my privacy without my consent? Simply because you know where I sleep and where I wake up. Anyway. Tell me, what brought you here? And you better be brief about it because I have somewhere to go. It's okay. It's about the issue you have with your brother. We want you to come so that we can deliberate and settle everything. Oh. Anyway, let me save our time on this. He told you that the last time I came to the village, I gave him a one week ultimatum, right? He is lucky that I traveled on a business trip. And now that I am back, my ultimatum still stands. He must move from that house by the end of that ultimatum. Else. Anyway, any other thing? I came to urge you to rescind that decision. Why? I, I built that house for my mother. I know. But you have to remember that you demolish the old house and build on that particular land. As it is, as I'm talking to you now, he lives in the OB and he owns that land. Was that what you old man concluded? I built that house in the same land that my father built his heart. I only allowed my brother to move into that house because of my mother. And now, he has to pack out. And that decision is final. Anyone who dare stand on my way, I will crush that person. Well, my brother, this is your sentiment won't fly in the court of public opinion. Uh, I only advise you to come home so that we settle this matter once and for all. I don't care what people say or think. The next time I will come to the village, 
it will be disastrous. Well, if you insist on evicting your brother from that house, <laughs> believe me, it's going to be you against the whole community. But I will advise you to come home and hear from us first before acting on anything. Is that a threat? <laughs> you are our brother. Nobody is threatening anyone. No, nobody is threatening anyone. All we want is peace. But before I leave your house, I just hope it's not what happened between you and your brother when you were growing, of which your mother cried for and asked you to forgive. I just hope you are not still banking on that old grudge. Uh, Nduka, my brother, I, came back, I just came back from the city. Mm. I went to see Nelson. You had me right. Anyway, he remains on repentance. But don't worry. You and your family will live in this house. If he attempts anything, then it will be Chief Nelson against the community. Bam. If I'm going home now, I will put the youth leader on red alert. Mm -hmm. Though he insisted on carrying out his threats. If he comes for our invitation, fine. Mm -hmm. If not, then we will see all his threats. <sighs> Is he one of them? I, I don't know how to thank you. you. Don't worry. Hello. Don't let it bother you. Everything will be fine. Hmm. Hmm. My brother, hmm? I don't know how to thank you. Mm -mm. Don't, nah, don't, don't just worry. Huh? Hmm? Don't bother yourself. Everything will be fine. <sighs> Don't worry. Don't worry. It's been a month now since your daughter left this house. And you have not told me anything about her. Where did she go to? Chief. So you just realized that your daughter has not been in this house, right? Is something wrong with you? You could not tell me not tell me where my daughter is before I go crazy. Go crazy for who? For me? A moment? <laughs> you think I'm not aware? You think I'm not aware that you've been having stupid conversations with her? Yes, and you tell me nothing about her. Now, all you people see about me is a wicked Nelson. Nobody wants to understand me. You are conversant with the fact that I traveled abroad to seek solution to my left eye that is not permanently blind. But nobody cares. They just look at me as a wicked person. Well, I'm not shaken. Most fathers are very close to their daughters. But your own case is so different. There is nothing Melissa does that you like. She would ask you for something and you would bluntly refuse. 
Now she has decided to move out of your house. And you think I care? No, you think I care whether she stays or she leaves. All I want is, since she has decided to leave my house, tell her to come and pack every single thing she has in this house. Since she has money to rent her own apartment, yes! Let her leave my house! But as for Duka and his family, they must pack out of my the house I built for my mother. Yes! They must move out immediately! And that is your final. God has blessed you. How is Chiwe? Oh, she's there. Give her the phone, please. Mm-hmm. Chi? How are you? I thank God for a successful surgery. You will be fine. Everything will be fine, okay? Give your sister back the phone. Meme, your father is on top of the roof. When are you coming back? Okay. Good night. All right, bye bye. That you're having a soft mind for who? We can know, of course. You, listen, I remember when you were still serving his master. When my father had a prostrate operation, he was there. He supported us. Hmm. Eh? If not for Ikenna, my father would have died. I just feel so bad, so guilty that I am neglecting him just because of money. Don't that fire this your mouth. It is your type that would die of poverty because you are feeling for one idiot. Are you the one that told his master not to settle him? Or are you the one holding his destiny? Look, this guy that is coming right now is a good guy and has a spirit of Kubana boys. Use your head. I understand. Just that anytime I see, I see Ikenna. My, my heart will just keep. I feel like I'm hurting him. Your mind is not doing you anything but your stupidity. You're very stupid. This Ikena guy has come to the village to stay and nothing more. Or do you want to settle down with such a person? Because I know that is where it will end. Our advice is stay away from that guy because nothing good will come out of him. Go and mark it somewhere. But seriously, Uche, Chinwe is a beautiful young woman. You know, her condition and the issues in her family affected her so badly. I mean, you need to see the picture your girl sent to me. Hold on. <laughs> Look. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, she's pretty. Yeah. She's she's indeed pretty. Um quick one. Are you planning to crop from the same family? Haba, have I done anything wrong by taking them to the clinic and making sure they stay in my sister's place? Only for your men. You're digressing. I only asked a harmless question. Are you planning to take least from the same owner? Huh? Uh huh? <laughs> uche, uh -huh. Anyway, to answer your question, I'm not considering anything or planning anything. I'm only admiring the handwork of God. You know, I like to appreciate good things. Uh -huh. She's just as beautiful as her sister, Melissa. <laughs> So have I answered your question, sir? Yes, sir. 
<laughs> um, so, middle man, when are you coming back? <laughs> yeah, coming back soon. But you have to pay me. You know I'm doing this for you and Melissa. Good. Cool. Thank you. So, can I have your account number and the next thing you hear from your phone is... Bim, bim. <laughs> bim, bim. <laughs> Well, thank you, brother. Thank you. I really is. <laughs> I decided to honor this invitation for this meeting because of the respect I have for you, my kinsman. Let me demonstrate that. Because, as you know, one tree cannot make a forest. That was why I honor this invitation. As you all know, I am a rich man. Not just rich, I am very wealthy. I have money. So much money that I can buy any land I want. Alright? So my problem is not money. My problem right now is this man, Unduka, who has refused to pack out of my mother's house and he must pack out and so shall it be you shut up your mouth god damn it yeah. eh? you have insulted us enough who are you bragging for that you have money is in your house can you tell us who your money have imparted on at your brother's son who served someone for a total of seven years eh? and you couldn't go and meet your fellow big man and ask him why you couldn't settle your brother and you're here bragging who are you eh? i no we want to ask you one question what did Uduka do to you that you want to kill him? Tell us. Stupid. <coughs> uh, I want us to do this meeting like brothers we are. Hmm. And we all know that Uduka goes to hospital almost on daily basis. Uh, most times, his blood pressure will be so high. And I am sure that leave this house and pack out worries him a lot. Hmm. Uh, Nathan, we sent Okafo to your house at the city. And you couldn't give him a seat. Why? Are we no longer brothers? Well, uh, <clears throat> Okafo, when you came to my house, I told you something. I said I respect you a lot. And that was why I allowed my gate man to open my gate for you. <laughs> Didn't I tell you that? I never knew you were a bloody liar. You came here to fabricate lies against me. You said I didn't give you seats to sit on? So when you came to my house, did you sit on the floor? No, tell me! Anyway, let me not waste my precious time because of a nonentity like this. On the substantive issue, the only way we can settle this matter is for Unduka here to pack out of this. I have a son! Who is cooling abroad? Mm -hmm. By the time he comes back, he's going to make use of this house. No bother, so there is no way he can remain in this house. And that is final. Ah. Shut up, Nessa. Huh? I said, shut up. Who are you? How much do you have? I repeat again, shut up. You said you take exception from these two people. Now, I'm not saying telling you again. Now, shut up, shut up, and shut up the, 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 the last time. Eh? We all came together and gave you your own portion of land at the other side where you built your rubbish mansion 
Now let me tell you for the last time. Come and evict Udoka from this house. Let me see. <laughs> Allow him to resist his stupidity. Okafo, mm -hmm. you have the impetus, the temerity to challenge me, Chief Nancy. You just poor church rat. And these stupid idiots <laughs> asked me to shut up. Okay, sir, and you, you swore at them. And you have to deal with all of them. I will lock you on the you are this house is going to you. And this is not this guy. He cannot even. Uh, I don't pass. know what that is. This house, this is your house. Stop being the, the house like the man you are. Every time. It... We must, we all must have to stand for Nduka here. Nelson is wicked and heartless. We don't need such a human being amongst us. Let him come and pull this house down. Is he mad? Uh, we must take it easy. And we must know what the problem is. Or why he wants to eject his brother from this house. Ndoka, what did you do to Nelson? Because it seems he has a bitter heart. Then let him say it. Something I asked him when I went to his house the other day, but he couldn't say anything. Nelson is simply being wicked and we must be very, very careful with him. My brother and I grew up together. Apart from little issues we had, you know, growing up years. You see, I, he took all my land and I allowed him. But this issue started after the death of our mother. And uh, the cause of this sudden bitterness, I do not know. Shut up. Nduka, shut up if you don't know what to say. How many of your children did Nelson pay their school fees? Oh. When you were laid off at your place of work some years ago, before your wife died, what did your so-called brother do? Eh? Stop covering him up. Eh? If he's still bearing any grudge against you over things that happened years ago, that is his own headache. Eh, for this house, <laughs> you will leave it. Sometimes you should be a man. As a matter of fact, Ndoka, you are too quiet for my liking. Nathan is your younger brother. You have to look him eyeball to eyeball and tell him your mind. Oh, you are here, I don't know. Uh -uh. I'll do. Exactly my point. I don't know. I think we go. Oh. Who's the thing of joy? My brother. <laughs> Steve! <-o. laughs> that's it. I wow, got to see you. Good to see you. I can see. You can see. Yes, I can see. You. Very well. <laughs> um uh, uh, what, what? What's what's the color of my my heart? That's <laughs> navy blue. She <laughs> can see. <laughs> she walked in here by herself. <laughs> yes, she can see. 
Um, what is going on? Is anyone celebrating his or her birthday that I am not aware of? Sweetheart, this is not any birthday celebration. This is giving thanks to God. <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, so many people have gone through the same process but did not come out successful. True. But look at you. True. One take, and then you have your side back. You see, this won't stop here. We are going to celebrate every day. As a matter of fact, <laughs> on Sunday, we will be going for a dance game. Oh, 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 oh. Are you I'm, and I'm getting a car for the church. What? <laughs> oh my God, see? Sis, come on. Baby, come. Come on, what is it? As a matter of fact, you should be grateful to God for what He has done in your life. Huh? Don't cry. If not for a sister like Melissa, who refused to allow her father's hatred for my dad, myself, and brother be cloud her sense of reasoning, if not that, you both understood. My sister Melissa and gave up a helping hand. What would have been my faith? I've never been celebrated. Okay. Yeah, never. It's okay. You know, the death of my mother actually shattered my family. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, uh, 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 enough, enough. enough. Okay. We actually haven't come here to cry. Mm -hmm. Please. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we're gathered here to celebrate. And I think, truthfully, Chinwa, it's not really a time to cry. Yeah. It's time to give God thanks for giving you a cousin like Melissa. Okay. There are lots of men, grown-up men and women out there who do nothing but bring disgrace, hazards, commotion to their family. But here's your oh. Melissa is doing everything possible to bring your family together again. Yeah. So, it's a time to celebrate. Mm -hmm. So Melissa will say, um, she'll continue. Continue until you restore the peace. Your home. Okay. Okay. Let's celebrate. you guys, please. Enough of the Melissa. Let's celebrate. Aha! Uh -huh. This is a time uh -huh. so happy. My cousin can see. Can you see? <laughs> no, someone is not. She can. She can. <laughs> yes, I can. Stop it. 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 So happy for you. So you can see clearly now. Yes. Oh. I see very. Are you sure? 
Of course. Wait, wait, wait. How many? <laughs> Twenty. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> Don't mind that. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Well, finally, the eye problem is over. <laughs> I actually walked in without any help. Yes. <laughs> I'm happy. Please, please help me to thank Melissa. Mm. Uh, and also want to thank you for giving birth to a daughter like you, mom. <laughs> God bless your kind heart. I don't know what I would have done. I don't know how bad my eye. I don't know if today would have been a reality without. Mom, thank you. Thank you, Melissa, for everything, mom. I appreciate ever since my mom died, you took that position. God bless you, mom. God bless you. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. Oh. Well, well, well. What are cousins for? <laughs> if not to help one another. Hmm? Well, uh, to her, you're an angel. So, Angel Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new name, Angel Melissa. <laughs> I know both of you are hungry. I don't know about her. Don't even go there. She should be. <laughs> no, she's not. Why don't you take her to your room and um, freshen up? Exactly. I'll give you something to eat now, okay? No problem. Thanks, Mom. Let's go to the room. No, no, see you later. Thank you, Jesus. Open the gate on time when I was home. I be one piece that time where, where you come. You be one piece. You, you, you just come here. Come here. You are a fool. What did I say? You are a fool. It's your father that is a fool. Idiot. Anyway, is my daughter back to this house? Yes, she don't come. She call it one young woman like that. Look at who you are laughing like a fool. She came with a young woman. Young woman or a young girl? No, but fine girl. She fine well well. It be like saying her friend. Idiot. Get out. Yes. Victoria, so you allowed your daughter to come to my house. After I told you that she must not come here, she should remain wherever she is and raid her house. Nelson, what, what do you want her to do? What is the problem? Your daughter has graduated from the university. She has done her youth service. You asked her to start working in your establishment, which she did. Now you have frozen her account. What do you want her to do? To just sit home and look at everybody? She has to look for a job. And that is exactly where she has gone to. Good. So has she gotten the job for herself now? I think you should ask her that. It's all right. Sis, I 
can't believe I'm seeing with my eyes. <laughs> I'm really so happy with you. Melissa! How dare you? How dare you? Daddy, what is it? How dare you? How dare you bring the daughter of a very wicked man into my house? And you, I need you to leave my house this minute! Oh, please. Oh, please, let please. That was why I came to your house. So let me stay in my uncle's house just for tonight, uncle. Please. I had an eye surgery, uncle. I can see you. I can see. I can see now without the help of anybody. Please, just let me pass. And I force you tomorrow morning. I will go. Uncle. And who is your uncle? What's going on here? Why are you calling your uncle? What's going on? And you, you and your daughter, tell me. In this house, I will show you the other side of me. You, please. Uncle if I come back and see you in my house again, I will kill you. It's yours. You have a Calm down. Calm down. Mom. Mom. Talk to your husband. Calm down. Calm down. You won't do anything. You won't do anything. You won't do anything. Go and shower. Nelson, if you chase your brother's daughter out of your house, at this time you know that it will be very difficult for her to get transport back to the village. And something happens to her. What will you gain? Every day we keep asking God for forgiveness of our sins. We ask God for his grace, for life in abundance. Yet, we see our fellow human beings as trash. There is no award that will be given to you when you kill your brother. You carry your life as if it belongs to you. As if it is in your pocket. Nobody's life is owned by that person. It's only God who decides who lives and who dies. If you chase that girl out of your house, have you removed the grace of God upon her life? Nelson, God has the final say. Chingwendu. Papam. Chingwendu. Papam. Hey. 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 God bless. Yes, us. Yes, us. Oh, yeah. 
watching one day. Thank you. Bye, bro. Hey! 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 Bye, bro.